Hey everybody, it's Charles from HumbleMechanic.com and today we're going to be talking about prepping for Wookiees in the woods. Alright, with the event rapidly approaching, the fellows over at Wookiees and I thought it would be a really good idea to give you guys some tips and some things to consider when getting your cars ready for this event. One of the things to remember here is that this is not just a car show, this is a driving event. So we need to make sure that everything on our vehicle is in tip top shape. Let's start off with maintenance. This may be one of the most important things that we focus on before this event. We wanna make sure that we're getting all of this stuff done like right now on our cars. Things like oil changes, brake fluid services. Remember, we're gonna be pushing our cars a little bit harder than on a daily drive to Target. And, uh, and we're gonna be in the mountains. So we wanna make sure all these things are taken care of properly beforehand. So oil change, brake fluid, Halidex and DSG fluid. We wanna make sure that our brakes are in good condition. We want that nice big contact patch between pad and rotor. If you're close on needing brake pads, go ahead and do them before the event. We wanna do a very thorough inspection of our vehicle suspension. So we wanna look at all the bushes we want to look at our tie rod ends, we want to look at our control arms, the ball joints, sway bar end links. We don't want to have to worry about any kind of loose suspension components during this drive. If you got a suspension noise, get it fixed now. This is also a great opportunity to get your vehicle properly aligned. We want to think of this as like a track day type inspection. We need to make sure all of these things are addressed, taken care of. If there's any concern about a loose component or a worn component or a potential failure, get it fixed now. We also wanna make sure that our serpentine and or timing belt is in good repair. With the VR6s, the water pump's driven by the serpentine belt. You really don't want an overheat condition in the mountains. And with the Golf Rs, it's timing belt driven. So if you're anywhere close within, I'd say 10, 15,000 miles of needing a timing belt, go ahead and get it done now. All right, let's move on to tires. This one is incredibly important. This is literally the contact patch for our vehicles on the road. I want you guys to make sure you're doing a very good thorough inspection on each tire. Don't just glance at the outer edges of the front tires. We need to really get the car up in the air, probably a good opportunity while we're changing the oil, and make sure that we look at each tire individually. We wanna look for things like tread wear. So if you're at 230 seconds, buy some new shoes. We wanna look for dry rot. We wanna look for any damage to the sidewalls. We wanna look for uneven tire wear. A lot of us are riding around in lowered cars. We wanna make sure that the inner edges of our tires are not showing cords, that it creates an incredibly dangerous situation on wet mountain roads. So again, just like with brakes, if you're even close, this is the time to go ahead and get some new tires. Another thing we're gonna wanna pay attention to is gonna be the weather with tires. If it's a wet, rainy week, and uh, we're driving through the mountains in a wet, rainy condition, that may require a different tire than if it's a nice, dry week for us on this event. We also need to make sure that if we're running a spare tire, that our spare tire is properly inflated. We need to look through our tool kit for our tire and make sure that everything's there, make sure our lug wrench is there, our jack is there, just in case we do run into an issue. If you're not running a spare tire, make sure you got a can of something to fill that tire back up with and maybe plug a, a hole from a nail, something like that. You know, I hate fix a flat overall, but I like fix a flat a lot better than being stranded with a flat tire in the mountains. And of course, this should go without saying, make sure you break the torque wrench out and torque your wheels properly. We wanna make sure we're also considering fuel. You know, 93 is gonna sell out very quick for this event. So if you're anywhere near a quarter of a tank, get fuel. For me, I don't generally run my car under half a tank in this kind of situation. And there's also long stretches where there is no fuel station. Nobody wants to run out of gas ever, but it gets really bad when you're at a car event in the mountains. So make sure that we're paying very close attention to the fuel. Remember, this is not, again, a daily drive over to Target. We're not gonna be getting 35, 40 miles to the gallon. We're going up and down the mountains. We're pushing our cars hard. We wanna make sure that we account for that extra fuel usage. We also really, really need to take safety into consideration during this event. This is a driving event, like I mentioned. These are also public roads. These are not private roads. This is not a racetrack. There's no runoff point. If you go off, you're likely going off the mountain. So we wanna make sure that we're driving our vehicle within our limits. These cars are probably capable of doing a lot more than most of us are driving them. We wanna make sure that we take that into consideration. If you need to let somebody pass, let somebody pass. If you need to use a pullover and let a whole group pass so you can gain some room, Go ahead and do that. Remember, this is not a race. 
This is an event. This is a drive. This is a drive in a beautiful, absolute beautiful part of the country. One of my favorite parts of the entire state of North Carolina. So take it all in and make sure that we're driving safe, we're being safe, we're considering other people on the road as well. A couple other quick notes, a lot of you guys are going to be traveling from other parts of the country. Take that into consideration as well when you're getting your vehicle prepped. You may have a five hour drive before you even get to this event, so keep that in mind as well. This is as much a road trip for a lot of people as it is a driving event. Also a few other things, make sure you got some kind of toolkit. Odds are someone will have something break and it may not be you, but boy, wouldn't it be great to be able to help one of your fellow Golf R or R32 drivers out when they're in a jam. I'll be bringing my VACOM just in case. I actually take it most everywhere I go. Also, a ton of you guys are gonna be taking a lot of video, which is super cool. Make sure your GoPros are charged. If you're a dash cam user, make sure your dash cam's ready to roll. Just remember, be smart, be safe about all this kind of stuff. Again, public roads, don't out drive yourself do your maintenance, be safe, and guys, I am really looking forward to this event. All right, guys, I'm gonna go ahead and wrap it up there. If you have any questions or comments or other advice that you have for your fellow drivers, be sure to post it in the comments section below. If you know of anybody else that's going, make sure you share this video with them. This is really, really important stuff. This event is awesome. I wanna make sure that everybody has a fun time. We get a little bit of time behind the wheel of our car that we may not get every day. But most importantly, we're all able to come home with our car and ourselves all in one piece. All right, guys, thanks for watching, and I will see you next time.